Fire out! Go down! Yo, 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 yo! My help out! Help out! Help out! Eso es mi querido Carlos en FM y tacao en acción y su alino a cabo para la burra municipal y sin tener lo mi querido Carlos en FM ayer en el número cosa o leca su acaba tico a chetel lo una unga tata se subió a ocupar de macata bolabolo wa presidente sin tela y ole eso es mi querido Carlos en FM y tiene tacao en acción y su alino impala stadium camas para la para la burra no es buena la Maya rawa ba palaburu mani Maria malaji ba oh kala ngano kutiki bula bula kasha nmo e wan lava wan lava kuta bula bula na ena mara au tisa mina hayo na mukia ripal kabola mikserunga na nane fm ba hii tele kubula bula MC si aparo sikuati la ba ba imere premier wash phone kulosha shalim popo ba kwa bula 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 mte kofkat maka letiti pambele na kunani rulu hinga eka wana ngo problemo kai la mte kat maka letita Entero wa kutangela tupane lo tashumun lo ngele kwen amashwe ni kusuka halinu aka maspala wa bapala boro kuna minchino le ngele kubeni kona la minchino ya ndabu uko kasike sungwa nsa asupula burile sa surko kasukura na muta asukata mtawashitulu wa komishini ya tupane lo tashumun limpopo kurukumba vikta mabidura laba waka wabula wabula yetu makata Tatu fanelo, nasi pimelo, lepas fanelo nak kena tatu fanelo intelare. Minta rom kalau lawan NFM, entri loko wash pan satu kos setel nabo, batu batu tekan karu abo lo, bangkit tewa lagu Teresa, aku bawa presiden, bawa bla bla kata banyika, kafe alang telaku bola na siang kita cuma ramba na bui endi, lepas jingga ko, eka sukuran nabo cah, lepas jingga tala, cikong kau belum kurku tala, lemu kisana nak kutua, cuan suang kopi tu makan, tatu fanelo, ku ya hilah, tiba ku tiba kue. Kon, kabula, tifanya lo tumana tumana kwenye la, watu sasa mete kwa kona, bara tifanya la mbele tishamleri, shubala kule sasa koko, tafu tishamleri zokar le dilang teruweke, eka muno wii kumbe wii, lo anga bula kule sasa koko, una tifanya lo yoy enda si, kumbe si, inza la yoy yole. Bako ba ba MC la ba banga ba koko, eka sukura na mucha, ba kaza MC wa Jonjo, MC mabungulo rulera makanya, ba kaza MC wa Jonjo, kunga MC ninga kuhu, ba kaza MC wa rehanyo, kunga MC Dr. Popi Ramatuba na MC Watmaka ta matamele ya wano ntersano mafumelo MC Baiskop Makam na boba kohula kantiru wa sukura na mucha intela ele kasi kansela pule shai ba yime kulunga na boba kohula tani executive mayor kumbe mayor rawa shifunda nzongo isha Mupani na boba kwa la kuba bata bako enteru ni loo inga kwa na nisheka ni loo mita romka la lona fm tani sasa ni kuku zelan teri karibu kumbi wii banga kwe nuta bako president seba bula bula lo kwa bula bula ikuwa sote sina inga na sawa leni msaadhi ma ibi kota kuba hia amashini hibola hilangu taka kureshana tani hii president kwa bula bula bako yini isi kungulu leri inga langu tana na rona intala yo yole kasi ke ai langu tani la ba banga kwa la ba komi Shin yanti kano arumbe uba imelewe inkulukumba tsepang mohopong ibo ingana bona la ibo tsepang chakan tuwele tuwele kai ipokele mjadi papi fukile akenza njom kambula bula kasha sunen la lom kambula bula nansungulo ba jeli ni kantongo ba ingisela la banga mingisela kamgana lona ne chakan loko ame ba jela ini la okay so today um our message was about congratulating government on the work that have they have done in promoting socioeconomic rights of our community so we're talking about issues of access to health access to education access to um, economic opportunities and also the efforts of government in fighting the scourge of gender-based violence in our communities i understand because you are happy about uh, the strides that the government is taking isn't it yes 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 we've seen um employment uh, employment opportunities that are currently existing because of the key work that government has done in the current financial year we speak of issues around special economic zones in Musina and Fetahomu. There's also mining investments across the province. There's also issues up around the youth fund where there's 10 million that is allocated for youth access to entrepreneurial opportunities. And we are really hoping that we'll see young people taking this opportunity, especially young people living with disabilities and young girls. I see. So, I'm going to say a message. 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 We just want to say to our communities to continue protecting and promoting human rights and we want to say everyone is involved must be involved in this in the fight against the scourge of gender-based violence 
Sorry? Why are you saying must? It's a must because we cannot relegate the responsibility to government alone. It's the community in collaboration with government and other uh, structures in the community. I see. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Emisi <laughs> Yeah, Bano <laughs> Bafanele <laughs> <laughs> 
by constitution yena yona te ba le gona leswi ba fanele ke ba se ba specially bantswa ba yena ba hlala ka constitution kuna leswi ba se bita ka gore bill of rights leswi swi endla ka gore one na one a a a a hloni piwa gore na bo munhu bya yena bo boya seni ba fanele ba te ba constitution ya yena ku ba e maka gore yo na lo nkulu la afrika borwa sen la afrika tsonga ba se ba gore e bo ba fanele ke ba ba jonza because e bo ba nga ta fuma munzuku ba fuma yo constitution le me tsela mo kweni eh eh lo gone etella ne re eh ka ba akate ko eng kwa bo a e hloni peni te te mfanelo ta bano na kona lo ko ya ka te good friday le te te easter le te a te khomene la mapato ene se ba gore inkweru aterisana iterama iterisa mapato inkweru sen a a iterisane ne e hlaisana gore e hungota tingozi la tindleleni tai sa ida mbita na premier fe garebe a e tirise MCK sin karwa mwe ikenzi enko mo tsa tsomintse ro mgana lona FM bala ba ipula na bona MCC sa paro squad e MCC wat makata sa timali e le mpopo a ka ipula na bona ba ka imele premier wa tshona kolosha le mpopo ndongo ndongo Africa wa bula bula a yena ne studio 13 sut komba batiko shetlele ba imekulunga kula ta tisela ndongo ndongo wa hlauleka wa tiko a shetlele Lembe na lembe hi mwete nyenya nkulu Africa tsonga hi tsengela mwete ya timfanelo ta ximunu Inshikani na kumkela kwa nongo no kusauleka wati kwa ashitli lika munga na lune na FM kumbandela uringaro wa Afrika wabula bula kasi na munda ba ashib zikongo msuwe kasi kwa na munda sikuwa timfanelo tava na Afrika zonga hela kutoa mbula bulo kusuka EDA eno then Cape la President Ramo posta ba andala kambula bulo ashimfumo wole muka sikuwa na munda ituwe ni la ba bula bula kuiko. Minister of Justice, Minister Lamula, Minister of the Civil Service, Minister Kivit, Deputy Ministers, Premier of the Northern Cape, Dr. Zamani Sol, the Chairperson of the South African <clears throat> Human Rights Commission, Professor Majola, Reverend Chris Nissen, the Mayor of Pixley, Kaisa Kaseme District, and the mayor of Mtanjeni, as well as community leaders who are here with us. Namsa nje kusugu olubaluleke kakhulu apha emzansi Africa. That is a baya balangrake dag waarop ons die groot vordering vier wat ons as een nasi gemaakt het en die bouw van een democratische wat gegrond is op gelijke mensenrechten voor alle mensen. Het is quite an important day for all of us because it is a day on which we celebrate the great progress that we have made as a people and as a nation in building a democracy that is founded on equal human rights for all. 
but it is in building the democracy that we have that we should be proud of. Even though others would want to diminish this democracy, even though others would want to abuse the rights of others, intimidate them, compel them to participate in protest, in compel them to participate in days where they should not go to work, I am happy that the majority of South Africans did not heed the call, but they exercised their rights as South Africans. It is a day on which we remember and pay tribute to the many people who fought for these rights and for the great sacrifices that they made. Many of our forebears fought for the rights that we have enshrined in our Constitution. This is also a day on which we look to the future Asipeleli apa gupela, si chonga pambili, uguti sasa le tuluzo balunja nina. And we reaffirm our pledge not only to safeguard and uphold these rights at all times, but to strive to ensure that all people may exercise these rights to their fullest. As you have said, Reverend Nissen, we should exercise these rights and leave no one behind. This is a significant year for the celebration of Human Rights Day. This year is the 100th anniversary of the adoption of the first Bill of Rights in South Africa's history. In 1923, the African National Congress adopted a Bill of Rights that demonstrated the aspirations of black South Africans for equal rights in the land of their birth. This was an act of remarkable vision at a time when the majority of South Africans were by law denied the rights that we now have today. The adoption of the Bill of Rights, which had no legal standing at the time, took place just a decade after the Native Land Act had resulted in the mass dispossession of Africans of their land. It took 13 years after the Union of South Africa confirmed that black South Africans would have no say in the running of their country. Today, as we mark Human Rights Day, we pay tribute to those men and women who had the vision and the foresight to proclaim that all people in this country have inalienable human rights. South Africa, all of us have basic human rights. Siababulela abo enko keli zetu eza enza show go 1923 kube bill of human rights bill of rights they had vision they were all they were able to look forward 
and to say that this country requires a Bill of Rights. The theme of Human Rights Day this year is consolidating and sustaining human rights culture into the future. And I would say leaving no one behind. As we look to the future, let us reflect on the past. As we learn the lessons of the past, let us work together to confront its devastating legacy. One of the defining features of the Bill of Rights contained in our Constitution is the inclusion of social and economic rights. Precisely the issues that Reverend Chris Nissen was referring to. In addition to the right to life, equality and human dignity, our Constitution also says that everyone has the right to housing, to health care, to food, to water, to social security, and to education. That is inscribed in our Constitution. And by the way, so that you can remember, when we drafted the Constitution, we went throughout the entire country and consulted you, our people. In the end, it was the people of South Africa who said, we want a constitution, the supreme law of the land, must talk about these very needs that we have. It must talk about education. It must talk about housing. It must talk about health care. It was you who required that your constitution must include socio-economic rights. And today, we have such a constitution. Why do we have it? We have such a constitution so that the government of the day must always remember that in whatever it does, it must put the needs of the people of South Africa topmost in their minds. The Constitution says the state must take reasonable measures within its available resources to achieve the progressive realization of each of these rights. So it is therefore about the state, the government, always taking steps to make sure that these rights are realized. Premier Zamani Saul, sitting next to me here, last year when I was here, he said to me, President, we need almost 80,000 houses here in the Northern Cape. We need to build many schools here in the Northern Cape. And he said, if we go on the basis of what the national government treasury allocates to us, it will easily take us a hundred years before we have all these things that the people of Northern Cape need. And then he and I started talking about ways in which we could find funding methods to ensure that, yes, there are more clinics built, there are more houses built, and so forth. So we've been in discussion with Treasury to say how best can this be done. And he's just reported to me that those discussions are about to reach good conclusion so that we can fund the building of houses, we can fund the building of clinics, and yes, he even told me that Sandral, the one that repairs and installs our roads, because the roads here in the Northern Cape are being damaged by the mining trucks on an ongoing basis. Sandral has agreed that it is going to 
invest in the building of our roads and it's going to invest billions of rands starting now going forward to repair the roads of our of our province here so progress then is being made from the idea of ensuring that what is set out in our bill of rights houses health clinics and even repairing our roads will now be done through the various ways of funding that uh, we spoke about last year. This, as the Constitution says, must be realized on an ongoing basis. The Bill of Rights also guarantees the right to property and says the state must work to ensure that citizens have equitable access to land. This property clause makes provision for land reform, for land restitution, and security of tenure to redress the results of past racial discrimination. This clause would no doubt be welcome by people who drafted the 1923 Bill of Rights, who declared that all Africans have as the sons of this soil, the God-given right to unrestricted ownership of the land, in this the land of their birth. Since the advent of democracy, since 1994, successive administrations have done much to ensure that there is progressive realization of these rights for all South Africans. The expanding provision of basic services to households has been one of the most important interventions to improve the lives of all South Africans. According to Stats SA, access to water and sanitation, electricity, housing and other services like waste removal has increased steadily over the last three decades. We must remember that we used to live in a country where only white people had the best of everything, where they had the best houses, where they had the best schools, where they had the best clinics, the best hospitals. Now the democratic government has had to include everyone. It has had to ensure that all our people enjoy <clears throat> the rights that are set out in our Constitution. And today, the administration, the sixth administration and previous administrations keep on making efforts to make sure that, yes, our people get basic services and we will admit that because the task is huge, much bigger than what the apartheid government had, and it costs much more money than what the apartheid government had to do to care for a minority of white people, our government, the various administrations since Uta Atu Nelson Mandela, have been making efforts to ensure that our people do get the rights. Around 2 million households, <clears throat> indigent households, today receive free basic water, free basic electricity, and free solid waste removal. Treasury spends up to 70 billion rand caring for those households that do not have the means to have or enjoy these rights. Yet, despite this progress, there are, we must admit, still many people who do not have access to all these services. Many people live in informal settlements without adequate housing, without water, without sanitation. Last year, towards the end of the year, Premier Zamani Sol and myself 
were talking about precisely this. And he was saying here in the Northern Cape, they see many informal settlements just being established all over. And it is because our people are poor, they are unemployed, they don't have houses, and they have many needs. And these are the needs that our government is determined to address, as Reverend Chris Nissen was saying. Reverend Chris Nissen was saying, you as government, you have the responsibility to make sure that our people do enjoy the basic human rights that are set out in the Constitution. And he is right. And the government will never run away from its responsibility. And we will make sure that, yes, we realize the aspirations of our people. And that is why Premier Zamani Saul continues to talk to Treasury, continues to say, my people in the Northern Cape have many needs. And that is why many other premiers in our country continue to find ways of addressing the needs of our people. That is why the ministers we have continue to do that as well. And that is why my task as president is to make sure that we address the needs of our people within the means that we have. So this is a task we are not going to run away from. This is a task that, yes, God has given us. This is a task that you, our people, have given us, and we will address the needs that you have as a people. We know very well <clears throat> that in some of our municipalities, the provision of these services that I'm talking about, the provision of the services is unreliable. There are times when water is not provided or is of a poor quality or where refuse and waste is not collected. The failure to provide adequate services cons consistently is a human rights issue. That is why we are working to improve the functioning of local government, which carries the greatest responsibility for the provision of these services. Through changes to legislation, and support programs, we are working to improve the capacity of public representatives and officials and direct more resources towards maintaining and upgrading local infrastructure. That is why we are working very hard to make sure that our municipalities work. We know that some municipalities don't work as well as they should. We also know that some municipalities, some of those that should be doing the work are stealing the money that should be going to serve you. We know on Viet that a part of the man say that the municipality work as by a lay that is why city single hulumen umas o maspala aba bit says our own zonkin tell what is balungi say this Ah, bo abaeba imali, baza bo chwa. Those who steal money, we will make sure that they get arrested. And ah, 
Those who are not prepared to work and serve the people, say they must go. Van Donsville heard that all on the man said, all our people must be well served. Because you know, today is Human Rights Day. Just these services, and I do want everyone who works to, to serve our people, must know that when we don't do our work, we are violating the human rights of our people. If you don't serve our people well, whether it's in a clinic, whether it's in a hospital, whether it's in a municipality, if you don't serve our people well, you are violating their human rights. And if you don't serve them with a, you know, a measure of joy, if you don't serve them with a measure of dignity and respect, you are violating their human rights. Now, yesterday I was with a friend of mine. This friend of mine tells me I'd gone to see him because he was in a hospital. So he came out of hospital and he said, he had the, one of the most horrible experiences in hospital. And I said, what was that? He said, he was having great difficulty himself and needed help. And there was a nurse, a nurse who said, I'm not going to spend my time helping you. Now, he's the same age as myself, and he says he was so weak, he needed so much help, that he had to scream and shout for another nurse to come and help him. And later he told his doctor that when he needed help, this nurse would not serve him. And they've now started disciplinary proceedings against this nurse who refused to serve. Now, I basically said to him, tomorrow I am going to DR. It's a human rights day, and I think that nurse was violating your human rights by not serving you. Because her job is to serve you to make sure that you return to a state of health. So that is why I am saying all of us who are in the state sector, all of us who work for government, who are leaders in government, our job is to serve the people of South Africa. That is our job. By signing up to say we will work in government, we are signing up to advance the rights of South Africans. And so therefore, all civil servants, all of us who are in the state sector, I call upon you, and I'm glad that Minister Kivit is here, I call upon you all to make sure that we serve the people of South Africa to the best of our ability and not violate their human rights. We must serve them with dignity, with respect, and with love. The young lady there was singing about love, love, love. And yes, we must show our people the love that we have in our hearts to serve them. Government recently introduced what we call the green drop and the blue drop reports, which has to deal with uh, provision of water. And this also is about improving our ability to give good services to our people. Now, in terms of these reports, we are now going to be making better interventions 
in regard to the services, particularly underwater, that we have to make to our people. There are also a number of water infrastructure projects underway to improve the security of supply of water to key areas across the country, including here in the Northern Cape. Another significant intervention against poverty is the provision of social grants, which are the main source of income for about a quarter of our households here in South Africa. Just over 2.5 million people are receiving social grants. We're receiving social grants in 1999. Reverend Nissan, you will be pleased to know that whilst in 1999 there were only 2.5 million people, today over 18 million people are now receiving these grants, which means that we are respecting the rights of South Africans. Now, to relieve the pressure on poor households during COVID-19, government also introduced a new special grant, which is the 350 special grant. And while this grant is, is a small grant, but it has been extended to the end of March 2024. Now, work is underway to provide a basic income support for the most vulnerable within the country's fiscal constraint. Now, already almost 30 million South Africans are in receipt of one grant or another. And I can promise you, we are the only country on the African continent that has made sure that we advance the rights of South Africans. No other country that I know of on the African continent does what we do here in South Africa for our people. <laughs> the Bill of Rights says that everyone has the right to a basic education and to a further education which the state must make progressively available and accessible. Over the last three decades, important progress has been made to access education. Remember, in our Constitution, the right to education is enshrined. And we also said we must, on a progressive basis, on a year-to-year -year basis, as we have more money, as we have more capability, we must be extending this right. Now, to ensure every child gets a solid foundation for social and educational development, government has prioritized early childhood development. The Department of Basic Education, which is now responsible for ECD, is streamlining the requirement for ECD centers to access support and enable thousands more to receive subsidies from government. We have seven million children who should be in early childhood development centers. Thus far, we only have 1.5 million in these centers. Now, every year we are going to make sure that we give more and more support to the other children who should be in uh, early childhood development centers. So we are going to be raising this every year. South Africa has a significantly high level of enrollment in basic education. In 2019, 96% of six-year-old children attended an education institution. However, the dropout rate from school is still quite high. So we need to make sure that once children start school, they must finish their 12 years of schooling. So we want to address this problem. And last year, we saw with the metric results that yes, there is improvement, but 
I want to see more improvement here in the Northern Cape with your metric results. And the Premier is already starting a program that is going to lead us in that direction. I think we should applaud him and encourage him and his MECs to make sure that indeed the education here in the Northern Cape does improve indeed. Now, as we move forward, this is a problem that we've got to pay attention to and make sure that everybody in the school leadership, educators and parents, need to work together to address this problem. An important intervention to improve school attendance and alleviate poverty was the introduction of a no-fee school in poor communities. We have seen the results of our investment in education in the steady improvement of the overall metric pass rate. And as I said, I'd like to see much better outcomes in our pass rates here in the Northern Cape as we are seeing in other provinces as well. This year or last year we saw a pass rate that was 80 percent. We need to see much more here in this province as well, as I said. Learners from no fee schools are steadily performing better in metric, achieving a greater number of bachelor passes. As part of a commitment to expand access to higher education for students from poor and working class backgrounds, the number of students that is funded by NESFAS increased from 580 in 2018 to almost 800,000 in 2022. So this is a big improvement. Now, despite this, as we saw in the last few weeks, many students are still experiencing difficulties in funding their studies, in accommodation, in their living expenses. This year, government plans to finalize comprehensive student funding model for higher education. Among other things, this aims to reach those who don't meet the NESFAS criteria but are still unable to afford tertiary education. The Bill of Rights says that everyone has the right to have access to health care services, including reproductive health care. Since the advent of democracy, starting with the provision of free health care to children under five years of age, and pregnant women, government has made substantial progress in the provision of quality health care, especially to the poor. However, we must say that there is still significant inequality in access to health care. The National Health Insurance Bill, which is currently before Parliament, is meant to correct this state of affairs. The introduction of the NHI will enable every South African to receive quality health care regardless of their ability to pay. Now there are many who say that the NHI is going to destroy our health care. Right now, many of our people are living under a health system that is destroyed, where they do not have access to quality health care right now. The National Health Care Insurance is meant to correct that. Because, as our Bill of Rights says, and as Reverend Nissen says, leave no one behind. We must be able to treat our people equally so that we can all enjoy the same level of health care. We are preparing for the implementation of the NHI through the National Quality Improvement Plan and putting in place the necessary staff as well as funding. We are improving the quality of care in our clinics 
through the IDEAL Clinic program, using the experience of COVID-19, particularly the vaccination record system, we will introduce an electronic solution to improve the management of health records. If we are to advance and secure these social and economic rights into the future, then we need to tackle poverty and inequality. We need to create employment and economic opportunity. To achieve this, to give us the means to enable progressive realization of all these rights, we need to grow our economy and achieve far greater levels of investment. The work that is being undertaken to increase investment in both economic and social infrastructure is a vital part of the effort to improve the provision of services to all. This includes investment in roads. As you heard, Sandral is going to invest in our roads here in the Northern Cape. As you have always heard me, this includes the building of the rural bridges and this year we are going to build almost 100 rural bridges. This includes building new human settlements, houses. This includes water schemes. And this also in includes expanding our electricity network. By the same measure, we are do the work that we are doing to improve the efficacy and competitiveness of our telecommunications industry, electricity system and ports and railways will contribute to increasing investment and employment. I've often said that the work that we are doing, particularly in what we call network industries, in creating a climate for good investments, we can see it here clearly in the Northern Cape. The Northern Cape has already attracted investments of up to 100 billion rand in renewable energy systems. You have to travel in the Northern Cape. You will see these towers of wind. You will see these solar panels. You will see a great deal of investment that is happening here. We are now going to see the emergence of another sector, hydrogen power, that is also going to be generated here in the Northern Cape. So we do this. We do this because we want to improve investment and increase the level of employment here in the Northern Cape. Now, the province's mining industry also continues to grow. While there are new opportunities opening up, as I've said, in, in energy, we welcome the province's effort to ensure that these projects create further work opportunities by investing in industrial parks and special economic zones. Government has introduced a program like the Presidential Employment Stimulus to create public and social employment opportunities for young people in particular. This is happening alongside projects with the private sector to provide work experience for young people and also to fund small and medium enterprises. The Bill of Rights guarantees the rights of all people to life, to human dignity, to freedom, to security, and to the right of movement as well. The high levels of violent crime, including crime against women and children, are a direct and brutal violation of these fundamental rights. Society has come together in different ways to respond to violent crime Communities have been working with the police through the community policing forums. 
civil society organizations are working with government to implement the National Strategic Plan on Gender-Based Violence and Femicides. Business is working with law enforcement agencies and state-owned enterprises to tackle the damage to economic infrastructure. As we increase the presence and the visibility of police, as we strengthen the National Prosecuting Authority and improve the operation of our courts, we need to mobilize everyone in society as part of a national effort to end violent crime. These are amongst the most important issues that we need to attend to as a nation if we are to sustain our human rights and also have a human rights culture going into the future. We cannot claim to be a country that respects human rights if we do not do everything in our power and within our resources to ensure that all South Africans have access to land, to housing, to food, to water, to health care and to education. As a nation, we cannot claim to respect human rights if we do not do everything we can to ensure that all people have access to work, economic opportunity and to live lives that are comfortable, that are safe and secure. There can be no doubt that we have achieved much in securing the rights of all South Africans, but we know from daily experience that we still need to do much more. On this Human Rights Day, I would like us to affirm our determination to make sure that, yes, we do realize these rights, rights for all South Africans, so that no one is left behind. In doing so, we will give effect to the promise of our democratic constitution and we will be paying the greatest tribute to the visionary leaders like Nelson Mandela, like Umar Mawal Bettina Sisulu, Helen Joseph, Osol Plaiki, who were the first to advocate for the respect of a Bill of Rights in our country. So this being such an important day in the annual calendar of our country, I am really pleased that we are celebrating this day here in the center of the country because you, DR, you are the center of South Africa. You. It is in this center, and many people don't know this. And I think of many people, Z, uh, Minister Zizi Kodwa knows it, because as I arrived, he was saying to me, President, you are at the center of the country. I said, Zizi Kodwa, I've always known it, that DR <laughs> is the center of the country. So it is a joy and a real pleasure that today, Human Rights Day is here in DR, and I wish every South African a happy Human Rights Day, and I wish you all here a happy Human Rights Day here in DR, and thank you very much for being here. Karisenda kumerat minete kube awaraya ngwe e buhashi bzo sauleka bza nongono kwa tiku ashe tlili ka munga na lu nene FM makomba ndlela e kasi nka arliswa ku e kutseta nyana liswi e president banga skumba e kambula blu wabona wa shimfumo kantero wa shimfumo skrana muntla rati mfano tabane afrika zonga kasi luku engase enda sweso Ungi i sungula hi unza elema vengle ni kutani tabe ya kutseta li sui Sunga huma eka mbulabula wa shinfumo kusuka enongwe wa president
Tatana chauke apa karatu eshlonda no kuita beri himfu kaku fika doctor sarad mabasa itzanin vuto mitsa oloba bakuna ekore sasla zasa chokela sinyanda nyanda chikons kupanza kusurenze kuhisa kutaba taba na businza kupima na kupamba milenge muarunge na nyamini na mikenyo ngwana bakumeka bopilong medical center doctor mwasas room twenty eight four back building chobert street itzanin bakumeka rabu mbere phone number zasko mbere kazi one five three zero seven seven five five zero kume zero seven three zero one nine two six two four tano kume mwana kume medical aid doctor sarad mabasa saving one food at a time. Ungaba uru kwa kwenye kanyo kiawena. Shikono, kumbe projeka mwa kwa kukulu pzi kumbe pzi. Kajuma hatuwe, hina kulu mwa wena longa mtemba kwa mkari hinkwayo. Kuma IPR roofing sheet is 0.27 by 6 meters in 299 rand ten. Wheel bar ya lajuma heavy duty. Ntena is 649 rand. Na 30 meters fencing wild and mash. Ya 1.8 by 50 by 50. Ntena hi 849 rand. Tunduka, kuenda shikombe sa shikwe na hina suole kwa kwa na A, B, C. Laduma, where you save and score. Hina tinsi mna minsa buku yo hambana. Family singana shona shifanaka. Hina shwa kinkwe rila wankos lunga na nzuti. Semba tla intel kukunyika funeral cover la ifike lilikaka. Le inga taakiro kunga sehela 24 wati awara. SMS a mungana eka 48044. Yaleyo i mungana eka 48044. SMS a shesi. Tla intel life iva pakere vanzinza kombu wabudomi na FSP la wangali na wini. Kudrata akil tantolo velo na shona kuna shunawana na shpimelo. Vembe Tivet College yi tlangara mo lembe ya mo kumensevo eka lembe lir. College yi na pfumba ro tlangara to spero so tintangu so 600 le sunga tanyi kerewa eka skolo so ambana ambana eka ifunza ntango shave embe. College yi kombele wa aki kutengenele risa eka pfumba lirim eku nyikela shpere shingo kumbe sumbiri le sunga tanyi kerewa eka skolo le sunga shauriwa eti teru wanta March 2023 loko college yi tlangara mo kumensevo wa mo lembe loko urna kutakela mo Unga yisa shperele swa tintangu eka bembe Chivet College Campus Yungwa na yungwa lenda kusuwa na wena Fanera mungye zima kuwa eka 064-750-0250 Koleji ye kensa ntirisano wa wena Kari yi kumena roat minete kube awaraya ngwe nga setelela a studio 13 Ni kucheta kantongo li sumeke nungwino wa president la vanga vula vula Ega mbula mbula wa shinfumo, kurukule muka na kutlange la sikura na muna la sikura tinfane la tavanu wa Afrika Zonga La presidenta bula ya kaliswa kuliri ili mbira buzana kusuka la loko kutaba kwa mkiruile Na kusainiri wa tzala rosungu la rati mfane la tavanu Ivanda la Afrika National Congress basu indile in 1923 Kwa loo na muna la eba bula kaliswa kusuye ndla zana rama lembe Tala rusungla ratu mfano taba nura amkeruile ANC. Kasi na muntla kukumega kwa sikuli rikutunzu kuwa kabano mkwabo. Labanga lue la ntushieko na shi demokrasi shama Afrika Tsonga. Kukurili soa kumfumo wana. Ubula bula ekuti isa. Shitembiso li shibashi endleke kubwana li soa kubani mkwaba tiko liri. Bata kwa takufike la ratu mfano taba wana bati pina eto na ikuye tiseka. Kasi sunga li subanga sukumba iti makata li soa kumani na mani. Una mfaneli ya kubana kutumbe tanshoko, una mfanelo ya kukumabutsunguri lo kanga fukanga. Eka su una mfaneli ya kufikele la swa kujia, kufikele la mpakele wa mati, kufikele la suifuno so umae ka mfumo. Ea ambikuru kufikele la jonzo. Kasi sunga ni batlelika basu kumba ili swa ku timaspala, tingwa ni basu tiba li swa katiskutu kutira kufikele la timfaneli tabano. Timaspala tiskutu kutira indela li tinga fanela kutira yona. Kukumeka kurina kuyibu wakati mali kati maspala tingwani Ema tsanguni ya kukinkavano Ebu korokele lebzi laweka haka lebzi na tsembisi wa Ebu mbiwa Kambe batla lava tsembisi wa leswa kulava Vaiva haka mali na suteresu wa swa leswa kati maspala Nelega suye nge sungwa na swa mfumo Vata buwana leswa ku Eba nilava etela kava komi wa Vala nkutana na nao Babula haka leswa ku munu Nwana nwana lui Akumeka haka ari Mutra la mfumo anga endi ntero wakwe Ukumeka ari eku oneni kati mfanilo tavano Kasilo kutraka mfumo President ukombisa leswa ku Ukumeke usaine la leswa ku Ulaba kutakoro ke la timfanilo tama Afrika Tsonga Kasila vanga kumbisa ekona Va enda suta ala kubona leswa kutani mfumo Kuna kufike la timfanilo Tama Afrika Zonga kubwana liswa kuma Afrika Zonga Bakuma nkwaso liswa nga wafanela Liswa nga tsembisiwa Kambi batela wabula liswa kubali muka ku Mkaringwana abatiri 
e ku kota ku fikelela ku endla leswi swi nga timfanelo ta ma Africa tsonga kambe swi fanerile ku ku tirherwa ku fikelela timfanelo teto ta ma Africa tsonga e ku nga ba hi tlhelo ra ku ba e ku bonwa leswaku a ku oni u timfanelo ta vanhu e a ti kanzeri u timfanelo ta vanhu ba nla ba e ba nga fanela ku ba korokela ma Africa tsonga ba ni kana xikombiso hi loko e munhu a ri mu ongori kambe a vula leswaku yena nge skoti ku nyika vutsungori kumbe ku ongori aga monlanga ku twin ka ku ba vanga ri kina matimba e ya ku ba kota ku e pfuka a yima hi mlenge ya ku yandle ku pfuniwa hi munhu nwana vani ke xikombiso le xi vanga kombisa leswaku e emgani wa bona nwana anga hlamusela ku atwa hele matimba nga koti ku tendlela nchi xomkambelo ka lava ku pfuniwa hi mtiri wa swara hanyu swi nga koti ku ba mtiri luya a pfumela ku ngipfuna mu vabyi luya e ka se ila ba nga kombisa leswaku loku tirela mfumo o saine le ku ba u isa mahlweni timfanelo ta Africa dzonga e ba kombisa na hi midende le mfumo nga ku nyiketeni ka vanhu va Africa dzonga ba ku xikombisa xinwane xa ku isa mahlweni timfanelo ta vanhu va Africa dzonga e ku sungulela le ndzaku loko fuma xi democracy u sungula ku rona nhla hi ntsongo e ya kwala ka 2.5 million wa vanhu lava va kuma midende nkarwa ko ka sina muntla enza ka malembe la u tala se ngeni ka xi democracy kwala ka makume na rwa malembe se ita va ngeni ka xi democracy vanhu vo tala va Africa dzonga e vanhu lava nga ku korokeriweni hi tlhelo ra ku kuma swipfuna swa mfumo swo fana na midende e leswa ku tom dzwa vona dzi kumeka byi ri lebyi nga antsa swinene se va ku ndlela hi nwana yo le ya ku isa mahlweni e timfanelo ta ma Africa dzonga e va kombisa na hiti makata jones maka hi nwana ya nkoka swinene e le fanela ku va hi tekeriwa nhlokweni ku isa mahlweni timfanelo ta ma Africa dzonga e va kombisa ku sukela ka jones ta ma sungulo leswa ku vana e lava ntsongo ku sukela le ka sikolo swa tindzumulo va fanele ku va kuma e jonzo kumbe ku fikelela swa tirhisiwa swa jonzo fumo u fanele ku tirhela swa kongomelo swa leso leswa ku mana mana kuma ti jonzo ta masungulo e xivilelo lexi nga kona hi leswa ku vana e va kota ku va sungula kahle e xikolweni va jonza ku sukela kwa le ahansi kambe vana lava hela ka va tshika kumbe vana lava hela ka va tshika la exikari hla ya kona hi tele ngopfu va vula leswa mfumo u fanele ku tirhela ku vona leswaku e loko munhu a sungula xikolo kumbe nwana a sungula xikolo u fanele ku va a kota ku fikelela ku va a jonza ku ya heta khume mbiri wa malembe la wa hinkwao ya ti jonzo ta masungulo leswi mfumo vangi u fanele ku va u tirhela swona swo leha swo ku vona leswaku a ku heteleleni ka siku mfanelo liya ku fikelela jonzo ya hitiseka hi ku loko munhu a sungurile xikolo a kota ku jonza a fika emakumo e ka sona ku nga ku heta khume mbiri wa malembe hinkwao ya xikolo i swinwana swa leswi hi ku tsweta ka sona ka mbulavulo lo nga ta huma eka president tsiri ramaphosa mfumo a u tlangela na muntla kumbe ku endla ntiro lo urwa xi mfumo ku suka le a d a a northern cape nge kensa ka e xipano xa nhlikano na muntla mikel mavasa e clifford maringa e kensa nele ka e kensa nele ka bongani e a kensa nka ke ya mogetso bodibe kensa nele ka rolani maluleke mufambisi nkulu e mina ndzi hlayiseka mavunda ta tlhela hlangana eka ba ha xibzwana ngono kwa tiko a xetlele enkari lo ta ka nhlikana pala mende ya rishaka e afrika wa bula bula Afrika ho bula bula ila inga kona mingi sero mkana lono nefeme ikuwa mkela kona kamshesili mavunda na nongro kwa mwina ushla uleka watiku wa shetili mingi sero mkana lono nefeme ikuwa mkela kona kamshesili mavunda Soswa ni nina MSC wa Tumakatara Anyoli Mpofo, MSC Dr. Fofi Ramachuba. Ila ba ila ba kubula na wana ya kasi kule ranko kaleri. Tifufane lo tashi munu MSC nteka. Nteka ni kalanga na wanyingi seli nkwa uvanguina na kukensa nkari minga inika wana. Nishanga ni na mucha la wapalaburo municipality. Kubula uruwa iti makatu ati mfane lo. Nanda ulo ya unwe. Yuwe lako, mipi tuwa njani isukura na mutasubula hini kamana? No, kaka hina, nisungula hina hirenza ulo. Sikula rehiritirisa ku ailangu tukulai huma kuko ikui. Since 1994 kubana that breakthrough, banbanga kumamfu molo unga chuche kile ku kufika na muntla tifane lo tabona. Logu milangu kusishin ya hina, yusube kika atle ku rehani. Access ya rehani, kufikele la rehani. It's a basic human right. Hiku asu negotiate hiku. Aishu leswa nwafana kuru ba sukula ba toito ya ba strateng ba 
That is why me wona ku ka hina. Heti putisa ku iti clinic iti ngani le tinga te aka. Isi bedela shi ngani le shi hinga shi puna ti iti ambulance iti ngani. Mi tatunduka ku since ngweti lo u sungula. I sungula ngweti lo wani i rile a water bag. La kona i kumaba ke gulu ba abanga boni. I wapula mati iso. I maka ku i ngweti wako na wona ba kumati fanelo ta wona ta kubona. Menge ku ngke gulu. Palamende ya Rishaka, le e Afrika wapu la bumula. Nalo tatiwa ya kwa rangeli la wanga kona kumkufu alipompo wa rangeli la wanga kona. Kukasi luku mfanele mtira, ufanele na wandu kumulata ya korokera ya rangula ya kamgana lona nena. Ya ripota kamgana lona nene. Yukona munga tatira. Luko si sota lenga kuluku siya kamgana lona nene. Sa endiyo. Again, <laughs> Benga ku akuna ambulance. Kati ambulance leti tu mwani wanyi kakutona. Bati witati obstetrics. Iku suta kota kuloku. Maybe are busy. Atfamba na enangu isha shbedele. Ti pain tiba wese alawa ku chuchek. Wakota ku ngudeliveri sa kati ambulance tu kaa. Mak anere emisi wakona in one saat. In one saat. Ti suza ti labor pain. That is why mi wana ku. Nati ambulance ta kona. Kuna le taku designi wa specifikali. Anila beba saati. Baba saati loku bala wa kubeleka. Ba kompita. Nangu ina mifamba miyabja leni ba minuabja la midagiwa ba mitaba inkwana. Mifamba miwa nata nguina na laba wani ba mani na shutlangi. Echita utawuzes. No, o artambo iba labule kate aku a nation that doesn't look after its children, doesn't deserve a future. So loku minanzi nga langu tiswi ba mani laba wanga biya amirini na shutlangi shinga sebele kiwa. Shibula ku ahi deserve a future, a real mpopo. Ashila utawu. Matiba shuba basu nene because... Laban bati ambulance. Kufanya na loku ina yuti ra irama doko jela ashbedel. Loku muno ata atabu wa inkuana au mangadi hizo tu mela kaya n. Loku wanza de aku ni na le ba pain. I want to kure emergency. That is why na le ashbedel. Lab ba mani la ba 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 kuvelek. Pangena ka kui ya bona separate le amajenit. Lab ba kuchaba na imikuwa na nashbam. Bata hii ngwe line ya board. So that minga compete si ban banga fana. Ba mani aba fane lange kukompita. Na hina laba hifamba ku hina mabjala. Recklessly and irresponsible. Lokuwa hinyike holiday. Instead ya uri higi ingirika sikure. Hithibuti isa ku tifane lo tifamba jana. Hina hiya abjale. Lokuwa hiyata abjala. Hithi ningunyo le abjala luya ntangutaba ingwana. Atawa we na kalanga. Ae tseri ni emisi. Kuna maungu ama puta. Kunda kai? Au washbetle shama put ikhale basungule kushi ak anri matiba kuri enza ulo ya fana rehanyo jonzo hiti users tati facilities marlaba ya ba public works ba hifuna hikuti ak se kube nati hambana hambana kaka project li se le sushi hita kisa ku iku premier's office na laba ba public works na hina hiril rehanyo na treasury hive na meeting Itwan public works banyiki wema lilia ba fanya kurba ya ba hitisa se ba yenzi undertaking kurba ta hitis na mina shibadala shesha ni baba ni invested kuna tena malto tuna michezi ni odurus nene lehir kwa yinga lotsa ma yinga lotsa ma shesha ni kuati sa ni kuata kufanya na bonaba kati kwa lawa se ba beken karota ni kwe barba ta hitam sela because banyiki wili mali bata hinyiketa a time frame kurba ta hita rin mara nzema ba kusheswan because kuna aner aswa yendi wewe na si yendi wewe la ba ba kulukumba ba ka premiers office na la ba ba treasury si tseni bisha kusita tseni sita sita famba kasi okay mc itambo namdo kama namlele itatua ku miri bata pesa isi sangu inti ambulance letia yego la mene la mene amitu mukamba ni kati ambulance kambi anda kanga reta tuka Afrika au vola vola wakabaku kuna ambulance yingu kushota te ambulance kwanza matiwa matiwa kala nga mi mi mifana kutunzuka kuri limpopo province aifani na kauti 
distance ya ku huma amosina iya apolokwan iya ngan mm. i huma ataba zimbi iya apolokwan ingan ma party la ya ifamba ku ko ya se ambulance loku ni shaba iya kamala mulele ifana la ku ri ifamba minganga liya ya kashikundu mi mi famba mi maiti ba kuri akuna mm. skontir logo mi alle kaba magona mi akama kuleke ah ne kama gona aku fambe aku fambe kise mm. na ibo na kuri ambulance yinge last sevan ba fana kutwisi saku that is why yiku na la ba ba treasure ame aba national aba yiseketel shoso ku hiti rural province mm. the province da ina itamati koshkaya mm. ambulance yale yale joni Iloku iku ifambe shinene, yingaba ifambe 20 kilometers, isi kuringo, because shubetle shabu wana shoba, kusuhani, iloku iuma abara, ingena ashaloto, ingena tembisa, ingena, mawana mm. iuma kalafoni, ingena Steve Biko, wawana ingena tuwane, tuwane na Steve Biko, a walking distance. Marlawan, iloku iku iuma kachili zini, original ya kamangwe mteshar, i how many kilometers, and the ambulance leti famba si kuringuwa narungwaan. So that is why me wanna go. Eh, he get sick. Mara, so she wanna hit a new plan. Let's just put me among the people who hit about fifty-fifty every year. He should go and look for it. Eh, he maga kuala. Another thing, I suppose, not mad. Mati walo ku ne sungula nte kangu na kalang. Eh, nti ro wa 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 okash nene. Eko lungi sa ti mad. Let ita rehan. I run a problem. Carlo one and Amitaba mini with Anil Mugu, Paco Aguna Miri at the clinic, Aguna the vaccine, Lemeler one and Amini Vitan because the corner, because this one is stable financially, department in a stability. Semitabona Lemeler Rusulaku, a he apron. Amitabona Tambulas, that it's a surprise. Mitatitwa, Ntatwa, Ntanda Sulasunas, Melela, Africa Zong. Among what of Mendela? No, 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 a 66 water ambulance in with the low one a plus the mobile the mativita na yini leti that the ppt the blind patient transport he shall be extra 75 is 71 total letting at shop i see i shall give my guy who is equal to allow me to come to me so cool look we got nama the mativa ku is so good ku ku bona ku ku balance akati mali 2019 loku nkarilu wani sungula kufula ti kliniki 24 hours hili ba na probleme ya maga ya kukubana covid se na mali liya ayi kuya isakatele yita vieta ka covid hili wana covid se covid ye rili last year ayi rika kate istabilize this year mabon ii na province le inga tola madoko dela permanent 400 now one bank but ngeni manes 482 you are busy not the interview masuta kalanga i ended the elections in a the operation let me balabula ku hidon anuri loku niya le abila vila miku ane balabula yin akur na the elections ane aku operator ba akati ko ba la one se mwina unfortunately milaba ni ni operator the entire continent and then nge shuko oti minanta nifana kurban baka amini yikangi the resource the continent Malile ininga isekatela. Malile ininga isekatela. Ni sekateri le mita bona nati ambles ntabani gati shaveli elections. Iko ntabani ku ni mita bisi loku hisungula administration le iwan yata tana matarat. Hii sekatela te mali loku hii gimeta administration. Ita gimeta hii te ambles te iwan amista ma miti bona. Ani mitu ni miti minga bula bula mita tela kali ya. Yenga mbangela kubula wula lia. Ba akati kuba tami bjela. Ni babuwa ni luka wambela na mabuwa kubata kubwa kwa wata kubwa kwa. Ba akati kuba nge fumeli. Because inkaru waku. Ba akati kuba hiti waku. Hii voteri. Mina ni humika interview kalang. Ani humika interview. Ba nilawa wani ba kiuwa everyday. Ni enla ti door to door kalang. Ni kukabona. Ni voteli nita minyiketa rehanyo. Se lo kubani heta kuni voteli. Ba tiba nga kumi rehanyo. It's unfair. So kalang. Eh yete ni misi na rangat. Lo kumi tama na wala wala mtera kuna bona, ewe baku pet matevu, baku he, baku magani shaba, baku he, ewe baku doctor popera matu, baku he, mete tuni. Eh, nta ku an anti mu kunta ku yini kalang, because eh mina i less one wangan joindi sa, la wangan joindi sa kuto politik, ban joindi sa ku inga tami. Iti kumpara na munuwa. Yeah. 
loko wo sungula ku vutomi bya wena kambe ile ntirweni iti compare na munhu nwana hiko problem ta sungula leswi fana ku stiba ifana ku tibyela ku wena i different na so swa wena yenda ntiro wa wena swi hambanile bano ai fana i hambanile ani ti compare na munhu na unwe no yenda so swa mina ai ani ku mititwa nja ai mbani jondisi lava nga ni jondisa kuri you are not better than anybody you are just different let me see. Let me see. Thank you. Enko. Here me see Dr. Popi Ramatu. But I will not be able to see you on the phone. But I will not be able to see you on the phone. But I will not be able to see you on the phone. I will not be able to see you on the phone. I will not be able to see you on the phone. I will not be able to see you on the phone. I will not be able to see you on the phone. I will not be able to see you on the phone. I will not be able to see you on the phone. I will not be able to see you on the phone. Wa wena, hiu 10,000 rand, kusukse laka 35 rand, 366, kote RFA funeral cover, inzi za kombo wa wena, nindangu wa wena. RFA funeral cover, ishe yengele shishinga lena wini, shabu pake la pukorukeri, bisa swati mali. Anfa misana na nomfundo ngapi, nifamba na matimo, ngomeni, na mogen shibambu. Nkwa wala wala umelar samina, kuni kota kubula wula. A studio 13, I am Matilda. Sila suna na kubamit mikenkari mui yingi sela. Loko bin phone la sumenga ni kumi. Ntabanti me phone. Kuni ya kui. Minga ni vutisi. Heita shangana kambe mduku ka Afrika wabula wula. Intano tumina tukubila wala ya kume mbiri. Kuna nangono kwa shawole ka mduku. Ngata wa iru relibu. Sibu za shiti chisha mga na lona NFM. Magata wa kawa zela kulembe 2022-2023 yifuwa mbenjani. Na kwa wakale miliritaku. Iba mani batsamaku. Iba mani bafambaku. Anda kaso es, mana sukulah dengan betul pinak yang seram ganalo nene FM, aku ingin wala ndela ni, tata. Ganalo nene FM, makom banjela. Aku ingin beni. Aku ingin beni. Eka zumba nami. Mukuluko abu nanga, eka melo macelo. Zumba nami. Tumbanamina, 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 Tumb